guys so just painting the live well this that's an Italian olive honestly it looks pretty good so I'm gonna put a second coat on and uh, maybe paint the rest of the boat I'll see guys right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the whole thing because it looks pretty good I kind of like it so I hope I don't regret this <laughs> We're just going to tape right over this other tape line that we have from the old one. Alright guys, so I got carried away and went ahead and just uh, painted it without you guys. So here is the first finished product. Looks pretty good. Kind of has this army green look to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It went with the camouflage, so I'm going to keep it that way. Now we're going to do this whole bottom side as well. You can see it really, really needs it. We're going to do all this and then, uh, then we're, we're going to go catch a fish. So here is the finished product. It's a real nice, kind of like a army green, but a little bit lighter than that. And it looks pretty darn good all the way through. Sorry for the shadows, but you know, working with what I can here. Looks good. Looks good, looks good. Good morning, guys. We are on the bait hunt. It's a Sunday morning. It's gonna be pretty windy today. I didn't think it was gonna be what it is. Having a hard time finding base. We're gonna to run to Bradley Creek and see if we can't find some uh, some pogies inside there and just take them out. Thank you guys all for watching. Hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so the jetty was just uh, super crowded with people already and it was really rough so i didn't want to be rude and take somebody else's spot or get crossed by a couple of lines so i just came inshore and we're going to see if we can find some trout here inshore on some structure so the first thing we're doing is just throwing right off the, the back of the figure eight island bridge these pylons here i made a run up up to Hampstead. See if I can't find me a slot red drum. Alright guys, still working my way up. All the way up in Hampstead now. So we'll see. Alright guys, it's been a while. Oh my goodness, a massive lizard fish. He bit that bait so hard. Oh, look at this guy, he is massive. You can hear how windy it is. Alright guys, there he goes. Big old lizard fish. Not the only thing caught today.
Oh, there he is. He was on it for a while. I don't even know what this is. It feels like bluefish. He's a trout. Now it's a little puppy red. That's what he is. Puppy red to save the day. Oh, he had it for such a while. All right. Told you guys I was looking for the slot red, and there he is, baby. There he is. Woohoo! Man, it took a long time. All right. Well, good hook set to the mouth. Easy enough. And look at this guy. He's not a stud like I've been catching, but he'll definitely do. Good eating fish if you wanted to eat him, but uh, he's probably just a tad bit. No, nah, he'll probably make 17. But not today. He's going to get to go right back in. So, all right, little puppy. That was fun. Thanks for the fun. This is the only fish I've caught all day. And it's like noon almost. So, see you later, little guy. I just kept hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. bait there. We're just going to toss the same dead bait right back in. See what happens. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is what I'm talking about, boys. Woo. It's been a while since I've caught one inshore, but that's awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. So apparently, fish are still here in Hampstead. They're just hard to get to. The bike just switched on like that. Check this guy out. A real deep color red. Super pretty fish. I mean, just a perfect slot for a drum. Uh, I was getting really nervous about not catching one of these, but as with all the tides, I just tied to switched, and then boom, he was on. I mean, just instantly. All right, we're gonna let this guy go and see if we can get some more sweet fish. Though, really pretty red drum here. Really pretty red drum. He's probably like 20, 25, so a good slot, just perfect slot red drum. All right, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. There's a guy fishing right there. Now, I was worried he was going to take my fish, but I caught him. <laughs> got him right underneath him. Guys, the bait literally just ran right into the boat being chased by a red drum. That was awesome. <laughs> it came from like right over here, too. So. puppies right now really good All right. pretty little guy threw some cut bait in there just to try to get the smaller ones to bite and sure enough that's what was over there just a bunch of small little puppy reds but pretty fish nonetheless super pretty fish Look how big that cut bait is inside his mouth. That's crazy. Here we 
ever think your bait is too big, you're wrong. Something's on there. Something very small. Super pretty little grouper. All right, good to go. Okay. So I flipped sides of the dock. And now we're gonna fish the opposite side of the one that I was just on. So I was just in the middle of these two. Now I'm over here. All right, while I was trying to tie on the hook, look what came and bit me. <laughs> yes, sir, it's a flounder. All right, let's see if he'll self-release. I don't really want to bring him in the boat since it's a closed season. He did not self-release. Look at that. I wish we could keep flounder right now. He's a stud flounder. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna let this guy go. And keep looking for some more. Alright, easy hook out. Man, it would have been nice to flay this guy. Oh well, see ya. He's gone. That is going to be it. We got one flounder, three red drum, and uh, a couple lizard fish. But I'm gonna call it on that. It's getting windy, and I think these clouds right here are gonna start to uh, start pouring down on me. So thank you guys all for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe below, whatever you want to see. Thank you very much. Go catch your fish.